So I've been thinking a lot about aliens. Of course, it has been uh, an interesting year to say the least. We've heard for months and months about how the Pentagon was going to release all of their files on aliens and UFOs. At least I, I was under the impression it was going to be all their files, but nine page a nine-page report was definitely just skimming the surface, I'm sure. So I've thought a lot about aliens and, and what that means to us. And today, as I was thinking about aliens, I was thinking about one of my favorite movies about aliens. It was actually made almost 40 years ago, and that movie is E.T. Do you remember that? E.T., the little boy, Elliot, who uh, an alien crash lands uh, in his neighborhood, and he hides in Elliot's room, and Elliot and his older sister, I believe, played by Drew Barrymore, they find him and hide him in the closet. Anyway, a great movie. So I've been, I was thinking about that, and then I realized it was 40 years ago. So I have the actual audition clip of Henry Thomas. He was nine years old when he auditioned for Steven Spielberg for this part. So let's take just a couple of minutes and watch this because I think it will blow you away. And you'll ask yourself, did that little boy really see an alien? Hmm. Um, did he actually have an alien in his closet? Because this does not look like uh, an audition. It looks more like a confession to me. So let's check it out. And uh, there's a knock on your door and a man comes in, a grown man. Not so here the director is kind of giving him the scene so he can... He can talk. And so he here we go. He found out that you have a creature. He doesn't know exactly what he, he has found out you have a creature in your closet. A creature that he's been looking for for a long time. And you've had this creature now for three or four weeks. You've become best friends with it. And he wants to take the creature away. And he's come with a search warrant. And he's come with permission to take the creature away. And you're not going to let him. Okay? Now, young man, I there understand you that you have an alien somewhere in this house. Is that true? Is it true? Is there an alien in this house? Yes, sir. Well, as you know, I'm from the government. I'm part of now, now watch the this. Watch what this little boy does. I am empowered to take that alien with me. But you can't take him away. He's mine. Well, but the government is bigger than you are, Elliot. And I, I really, I have all the authority to take him. And I got to tell you, I think I'm he's seen aliens. You can't take him. Well. I'm afraid I have to, son. You can't take him away, he's mine! But it's not my choice. The president asked me to come here and get him. I don't care what the president Smart says, kid. he's my best friend. And you can't take him away! Well, it's, it's real possible, Elliot, that, that he'll come back and you can have him again. But we just want to talk to him and see where he came from and try to find out about other planets. He this little boy has tears running down. He has tears running down his face. Well, I'm afraid, son. I, I can't guarantee it. I think he's afraid of you. That may be true, but the government tells me what to do, and I just follow their orders. Well, he's mine, and he lives with me, and he likes me, and he wants to stay here. He likes it here. Well, we, we wouldn't hurt him or anything. All we want to do is talk to him. But I don't want you to take him away. You know, I've had to talk to your mom about it, and she knows that the government has the right to do it. And who told you all this? Well, we learned about it. We know that he's somewhere around here. I mean, I do yeah, have let's, some let's, let's, look I'm from the government, and I'm going to lie to this little boy. There. <laughs> They had no plans of giving him back and letting well, sweet little Elliot keep him. What, if you let me talk to him for five minutes, I'll tell my boss that you can keep him. So, so you? this little kid, his his interview was so amazing that Steven Spielberg, right on the right during this uh, screen test, said, "You got the job." Right then, they didn't they didn't look at any other young young kids. They gave it to Henry Thomas. So, my question to you. Do you think 
children would be more accepting of aliens from another world than adults. I mean, we know that children are a lot less judgmental. I mean, they, they pretty much, um, they don't have prejudices. They may see an alien, kind of like uh, Elliot in this movie, saw E.T. as this big teddy bear-like thing. I, I believe he initially was worried. But for the most part, he just accepted this alien from another planet. And this alien became his best friend. So think about that. If we were ever visited by beings from another world, do you think children would be more accepting than adults? I do. Either way, just a fun thought. So I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little walk down memory lane. And if you uh, haven't had the opportunity, go check out uh, E.T. I'm sure you can find it uh, Netflix, somewhere online. Uh, and watch it. It'll remind you of how fun it was in 1982 when we saw E.T. for the first time. Thanks for watching.